oh, I'm on another planet. It's not it's not going to sink in for a little while. Um, I think all morning, it's it's happened exactly as I've been imagining for years. And uh, yeah, for it to happen, I, I was pretty blown away. So it's definitely not sunk in yet. Oh, it was massive. Um, we're, the whole team's just super proud of Charlotte and she's obviously put in all this work. Um, and to actually deliver on what she said she was going to do is is huge. And uh, to put a 97.5 run down, I think it's the, uh, the biggest run a woman's ever done. Um, so she's changing the game, changing the game. We're just so proud of her. Uh, well, I think I was more nervous in the second run. I think my heart was pounding out my chest then and, and you're kind of thinking about a lot. And I think I fell because I kind of rushed it, probably because I was so nervous. Um, but after sending it, I was I was really happy that I I tried it um, because to it's it's more of a mental battle to try something like that when you know it's a gamble on the world stage um, and you don't know if it's going to pay off. I was I was happy that I gave myself that chance. Uh, so I ran into the second run. After I knew I'd done done it in the first run, there was there was no going back. There was no backing down. I thought even if I'm gonna fall, I've got to take the gamble and give myself that shot. After that crash, uh, we went home and I got checked over and uh, we found out we were all good about two weeks later. Uh, and as soon as we got back to training, I just got straight back onto it because if I if I didn't do it then, I probably would have never done it. Uh, it was one of those crashes that was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, just to just to get it done at the biggest on the biggest stage of all time is just massive for me and um, yeah I'm just super thankful to be here and what an achievement. Uh, yeah I think that obviously we both planned our run before we got uh, before we got here and we and our run we knew we'd be on the podium um, but for me it didn't really matter where on the podium I was um, this feels like a goal for me. Yeah I mean there's definitely been a stigma around extreme sports uh, for many years I think the stigma is probably that you're a school dropout and you, you get up to things that you shouldn't be. Um, but I think, yeah, it's it's really nice to, to come home and to, to prove to a lot of the mainstream media as well that we're, we're athletes as much as Usain Bolt is an athlete. Uh, we train just as hard, we, we sacrifice just as much, and we've seen the results and we've reaped the rewards today.